Hollywood superstars demand the biggest, boldest, and best RVs on the planet. And what they ask for, they get. Our clientele is the very wealthiest people in the world. When you have a space restriction, the only way to go is up. The sky's the limit as we raise the roof on the baddest, most outrageous double-decker of them all. Oh, I love that operation. This mega RV is getting loaded with enough star power to light up Tinseltown and throw a white-hot spotlight on the RV Nation. Americans love the open road, and RVing has been an essential part of the American experience for over 100 years. From the earliest auto camper to the latest mega RVs, each generation adds fuel to the fire that drives the lifestyle, sparks innovation, and ignites the passion of the RV nation. Hollywood's obsessed with massive trailers, and size matters. We're talking 1,200 square feet of pure luxury, with amenities that rival any five-star hotel. It's no wonder these mobile mansions have been Hollywood's first choice for over 20 years. Anderson Mobile States are extreme. Hands down, no one has come anywhere close to building these kind of things. It started with Sly Stallone. You know, he was looking for an RV for the Rocky movies. You know, we took the RV up there and I worked with him on the whole show. And then he started telling other people and told everybody in Hollywood. And that's how we grew. And as the market for these mega RVs continue to grow, each new model raises the bar a little higher, literally, building the only way they can, straight up. A few years ago, um, Will Smith said he wanted to build a new RV for when he was filming. I said, well, I've got this two-story idea, so we won't take up so much space on the movie lot. And he said, well, that's cool. So that's kind of how this whole two-story RV evolved. A new RV challenge has been presented, and it's for television producer and music mogul, Simon Cowell. Nothing will be overlooked to make sure Simon's RV is both stylish and on the cutting edge of modern technology. I think technology is just so cool. I think it makes our lives easier, and I want to be able to integrate that into everything that we do. And this customized trailer for the ultra-discriminating Simon Cowell needs to be completed in six weeks. We said, you know, there's just absolutely no way that we have the time to do a new build. I don't care if I put a thousand guys on it, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to do something like that in that in six weeks. The only option they have is to redesign and rebuild one of their current RVs. This beauty is called the Studio. It's one of the most elaborate RVs in the world, and in some ways it's a shame it'll get torn apart. But this is the only option. I talked to them and they want to do a whole modern theme. So right now we have dark, 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 and they want everything light and more contemporary. It's gonna be a lot of white, but it's gonna look really good because then we're gonna have a contrast of the floor. Oh, we're redoing the floors too? Yeah. It's gonna have a nice sleek look. If we're going with all white walls and all white things, why don't we do like white AMX touch pads, white, like Ooh. white Ooh. thermostats, white, like, like everything's like just seamless. So we got a lot to do in six weeks to do it. So. Six weeks. Six <laughs> I know. Weeks. I told him four months. When we started this, I said we need four months. Woo! Team Anderson. All Let's right, go. Let's go. So right now we have a little more of a warm feel, and we're going to make it a little elegant, classy, real modern, real young, and give it a whole new feel. It's going to look really sexy. Ah, if it was only that easy. But Ron and RJ have to make some tough decisions about the major changes this massive project requires. Oh, man. I'm ready to open this room up. I think we need a lot more light. You know, right. it's very dark in here. You know, brighter LEDs, those are going to be really good. I think we ought to go ahead and just make a bath and a half. You've been bugging me to do that anyway, so... Yeah. The upstairs. I'm, I'm pretty happy with up here, you know? I think the base is good, you know? I just think, you know, a little uh, facelift is really what this place needs. All right. Well, let's well, get on it. Let's do it. Start turning it apart. In addition to new upholstery and flooring, the mobile estate will be outfitted with three 60-inch 3D TVs, including one mounted to the exterior of the trailer. I got to take the windows out of this thing. I got to pull the entire interior out to get to all the panels. We got to rewire this thing. We got to put install all the new electronics, all the new TVs, add a half bath, which adds plumbing. I have to move the holding tanks, you know, add new holding tanks. All of that in six weeks. What have I got myself into? Even though this is a rebuild, it's still a massive task. 
We're trying to disassemble the couches back here, and when they built them, they brought them in through the stairway before all the walls were built. So we can't exit that way, and we're gonna have to bring the couches out through a window. Okay. Growing up in this industry and understanding the way stars live, you know, this is their home away from home, and that's what we try to accommodate. Having the two stories makes it li their lives easier by having their entire staff upstairs but not in their space at the same time. At the end of day one, the team's got a lot more demo still ahead. It's a tall order on a project with so much to do and so little time to do it. We certainly had to take a lot more stuff apart than we thought we were going to. There's a long road to hoe, but... You know what? I know that our end result's going to be good. Coming up, the pace intensifies on Simon Cowell's trailer build, and we tour another high-profile Anderson Mobile Estate. Let me show you Will Smith's golf RV. Which Rocky movie was Sylvester Stallone shooting when he took delivery of Anderson's first custom celebrity coach in 1984? Was it Rocky II, Rocky III, Rocky IV, or Rocky V? We'll have the answer when RV Nation continues. So which Rocky movie was Sylvester Stallone shooting when he took delivery of Anderson's first custom celebrity coach in 1984? Released in 1985, Rocky IV is the highest grossing film in the blockbuster franchise and the most successful sports movie of all time until it was surpassed by The Blind Side in 2009. We've shown you Hollywood's ideal when it comes to mobile accommodations, but now a team of expert craftsmen is taking that idea to the extreme, giving this ultra-lavish two-story studio on wheels a complete Tinseltown makeover for none other than mega producer Simon Cowell. And with the only double-decker RV on the planet, this beauty's gonna stand out from the pack like never before. With twice the space and a whole lot of hardware, we're talking the height of luxury here, literally. Innovation on this scale isn't easy. It's a feat of modern engineering. So with their original studio model gutted, it's time for Ron and RJ to make some magic happen for Simon Cowell. My father is a perfectionist, and he has made everything to the top notch. He's really revolutionized the industry in itself. With these units, they're over the top, but they're functional. With the amount of time celebrities spend on set, sometimes they want and can afford the strangest of creature comforts. Let me show you Will Smith's golf RV. We designed it. We're the only people to ever build a full driving range in a, in a trailer. You know, Will's a very tall man, and he has a very high golf swing, so we have 12-foot high slide here. We have two high-speed cameras on either end that record every movement, and then when he's not using it, drop the screen, and you have a full dailies unit that he brings in all his producers for that day, or he just brings in his buddies in here and he jams out. Will loves loud music. Speaking of creature comforts, remaining cool under the pressures of producing his hit shows, Simon Cowell also deserves to remain cool in his home away from home. The biggest problem we have, especially, you know, because we did a lot of filming in the desert, air conditioning was a huge problem. So we sat down and designed a air conditioning system that is high pressure, like you have in an airplane, you know, those little valves you open up. Well, the nice thing about that, it turns the air over very quickly. We run that through HEPA filters, so we even keep bacteria. A high profile client, you can't get sick, he gets sick, everybody goes home. We actually had one in Dubai. It was 130 degrees outside. We're sitting on asphalt. We brought that unit to 78 degrees. And handling the air conditioning construction and installation is Tom Malloy, Anderson's go-to specialist when it comes to cooling these massive coaches. This is a five-ton heat pump is what it's called. It's a reverse cycling unit. You know, generally, you can feel an air conditioner. You feel hot air coming out, like you have a condenser in your backyard that discharges the hot air through the coil. This will reverse and run that hot air through the interior coil and heat or cool. Five-ton air like this, you could cool a 2,500-square-foot home with it. We have two. We have 10 tons total on a 1,200-square-foot unit. Windows. There's no shortage of windows here. And even more being added for the Simon Cowell conversion. 
getting rid of all the foam uh, insulation on the trailer so that we can start cutting the superstructure out to increase the window size. And we're in. And just inside that slide out unit, a section of the makeup quarters is being transformed into a state of the art medical facility. What we do is we put in a telemedical capability. We have a 24 hour operation center with physicians there every day, every week. The patient will actually put the glove on their hand, onto their chest, and our physician will get a PDF EKG sent to his laptop from here. No going to a hospital, no going to a doctor's office. The only other person that gets this kind of care in the country is the president. With its slide-out units, industrial-grade air conditioning and high-tech medical system, the Studio RV requires a supercomputer to control everything on board. We have our $100,000 brain AMX rack going in. So to computerize the trailer with the AMX system, we had to run about 10,000 feet of Cat5 into the trailer. All the lighting's gonna be run off of it, all of the entertainment center racks. You could play a uh, DVD downstairs, it'll play on any TV throughout the trailer. It's like we're taking all of what we've learned in the past 10 years and we're cramming into one of our trailers. That's why we are successful in this business, is because we've created a multitasking unit for multitasking people. This is a production office. This is a portable skyscraper with 75 people running in and out. This is the perfect platform for this. Coming up, we uncover some of the many tricks of the trade used to build a mega trailer for Hollywood's elite. So this is actually only about a quarter inch thick, but we build those edges back up and you can't ever tell that we took that, but it takes 80% of the weight out of the granite. Which U.S. state is the number one for new RV shipments? Is it California, Florida, Michigan, or Texas? We'll have the answer when RV Nation continues. Which state is the number one for new RV shipments? The answer, D. The Lone Star State received 8.6% of all new RVs shipped across the U.S. in 2013. Welcome back to RV Nation. TV and music mogul Simon Cowell is having an already luxurious RV revamped into the ultimate studio on wheels. With the original furniture removed, the team gets to work stripping the coach down to the frame. It looks like a mess right now, you know, with everything torn apart and everything just being in disarray. But when it comes together, it's going to be the baddest thing that rolls around on the face of this planet. These RVs are loaded to the gills, but the builders do have weight limits. They have to follow DOT protocol, which limits the weight of an on-road vehicle to 80,000 pounds. So RV builders have borrowed weight-saving techniques from a couple places. A lot of the products that we use come from the yachting industry, come from the aircraft industry, tried and proven. You couldn't take 25 slabs of granite and put it on a tractor trailer and move it over the scales, so you'd be overweight. So what we do is we cut this granite down and then we fiberglass back it. So this is actually only about a quarter inch thick, but we build those edges back up and you can't ever tell that we took that, but it takes 80% of the weight out of the granite. Now here's a trick Ron came up with himself. This is a giggle glass. And if you notice, this is all opaque and you can't see what's going on out there. But with a touch of the button, you can see that it goes clear. And back on Simon's RV, the crew continues working on expanding the openings for their new windows. We had to build all of this custom because it doesn't exist. We can monitor how far the window's out, halfway out, all the way out. All of that can be monitored right on the touch screen. I was just making sure each one of them flex and each one of them is working before we uh, glue them in permanently. Mechanized components can be found all over this incredible machine, from the actuated windows down to the essentials. The Tecma toilet, which is, you know, so cutting edge, it flushes itself, you know, when, when you go to the bathroom, it senses if you pee or not. This toilet, it's called macerator technology. It basically grinds the, the waste and pumps it up to 300 feet. Is this the main control for the toilet? Absolutely. And we have the water saver feature on it for like a half flush and then a full flush. I mean, you use the bathroom, you push the button, and you walk, walk away. away. Well, you wash your hands. Wash your hands, of course. 
But it's not just the automated magic that makes this coach amazing. The styling cues and interior design are a huge part of this RV's charm. What we're doing here is we're changing all of the panels. There's probably 60, 70 panels totally inside this trailer, and they've asked for a lighter shade. You know, you're going to see a huge difference in the amount of natural light that we get in this room by just lightening up these fabrics just a little bit like this. And it gives us this nice, clean look that we're looking for on the other side. We're talking total customization here, including the ceiling panels. So what we're going to do is we're going to need a thinner board, and uh, we're going to expand it out some, okay. probably four or five inches on either side, right. and then wrap it in the same material here. And when it comes to the floors, it's engineered hardwood throughout. These are half-inch thick engineered wood floor. A natural oak floor would be three-quarters thick and uh, two-inch planks, but they come real warped, and, I mean, you got to beat them into submission. This stuff's going right together. It's a beautiful product. Coming up, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Simon Cowell's mobile mansion is ready to hit the red carpet. I'm thrilled with the way that it turned out. Which vacation spot was voted the number one location to take your RV? Was it Mount Rushmore National Memorial, Grand Canyon National Park, Colonial Williamsburg, or Yellowstone National Park? The answer when we return. So, which vacation spot was voted the number one location to take your RV? The answer is Yellowstone National Park. It's a staple for any RV trip and voted the number one location to visit in an RV. The transformation of Simon Cowell's new mega RV has been completed. And the results speak for themselves. We wanted to create a new state-of-the-art vehicle for the RV industry, and we did it. I'm thrilled with the way that it turned out, and our clients thrilled, so I couldn't even be more happy. There's certainly no shortage of cool and amazing features on this RV. Check out these automated windows and outdoor TV. What we want to do with this trailer is be bold and fearless and do something that we've never done before. I love it because when you come in here, you know you feel like you're in a new place. You're in another dimension. Black Galaxy granite with the ultra leather and the Italian leather. And then the ceiling, we have the white ultra leather and then the outline of the trailer with black to tie in with the Black Galaxy granite. What we wanted to bring to the floor is a lighter floor, but we brought an engineered floor opposed to a natural wood so it could handle different climate changes. This brand new second bathroom provides comfort for Simon's guests while maintaining his comfort and privacy. We did use some really cool products in there. The Tecma toilet, which is so cutting edge, it flushes itself. It's like a $3,000 toilet. Mackenzie came up with like a floating sink, which I've always loved. You know, it's very, you know, very modern, you know, like, and also like a, a waterfall faucet. It's ridiculous. And all of the electronics run off this $100,000 AMX computer system. This is the hearts of this unit. This is where we pulled over 20,000 feet of cabling to. Everything is automated through this system. All accessed by a single tablet. From here, I can control the entire trailer. Everything's at a touch of a button. You can open the windows, you can turn the AC on. There's no light switches in the entire trailer. Everything's on touch screens. And you have full control of that anywhere you are in the trailer. I mean, everything's just integrated right here. How nice is that? Even cooler is the RV's signature giggle glass. You want extreme? Downstairs we have a full 3D theater, 65-inch TV with 6 one surround sound. But the ultimate amenity is the onboard Guardian 24-7 medical unit. Dr. Darling. How may I help you today? You know, from the very first time I met you, having spent 15 years of medicine myself, I, I knew this was one of those things. It has to go there. You have our service, or one of your clients has our service, and they call us up with what, what is a true medical emergency. We're there within 30 or 60 seconds, instituting the critical emergency care that's going to save their lives. This door comes open and exposes all the medical equipment. 
This is the defibrillator that's all automatic. Open gray plastic case and peel off white adhesive pads. This is our EKG glove that you can actually slip on your arm and do your own uh, EKG. Pulse monitor, the ear scope, throat scope. We have a remote control stethoscope, remote control blood pressure cups, and even a high definition camera that you can move over the patient or the patient can move over themselves all by yourself, just you and the doctor, and diagnose your situation. And check this out. You have a 360 degree view all the way around. We also have a banging concert grade sound system. I love the way this trailer came out. I'm so happy. I can't wait to do the next one. Oh gosh. Simon Cowell and his incredible mobile mansion are ready for their close up. Two more shining stars in the RV Nation.